Hello, welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, and now on screen we have another puzzle by Jesper Josefsson, um, who's, I think I put, uh, did a puzzle of his a couple of days ago on the channel. And he wrote to me actually to thank me for that video and also to, to ask if we could cover this puzzle, which he says is his best puzzle ever. It's very dear to him. And it has appeared on Logic Masters Germany a while back. And I'm not sure why we didn't cover it, although it does have a five star out of five difficulty rating. So that may have been the reason. Um, and I had a look at some of the comments on this puzzle and they are off the charts good. People saying that this puzzle deserves, you know, a great deal of attention uh, and some very, very good people saying that as well. Richard Stolk amongst them and Mad Mahogany, whose puzzle we, we featured yesterday. So I am going to give it a go. I am intrigued. I don't, as I say, I feel a bit nonplussed as to why, why I, I sort of hadn't uh, devoted attention to it before. But uh, yeah, but we'll see how it goes. Now, it's got a... Uh, some rules we need to talk about. Firstly, thermometer rules. So thermometers, these are normal thermometers. So along a thermometer, you've got to put the smallest digit at the bulb end, and then every digit after that has to increase as you move up the thermometer. So like the mercury rises, the numbers on the thermometer rise. And we've also got little killer Sudoku clues. So these are very simple, basically. The way these work is along the arrow, so you highlight all the cells along an arrow these have to sum up to 69 now you can repeat digits along the diagonal so obviously those two digits can't be the same because they're in the same box but it would be absolutely fine for those two digits and that digit they could all be the same digit um, and that's all there is you can see it's a very minimalistic grid just five killer or little killer sudoku clues and four thermometers and the thermometers are very short which is i suspect why this puzzle has a uh, a very high difficulty rating um, so do give it a go um, to play the puzzle you click on the link under the video and with that let's get cracking um, and where do we start here maybe I mean the thermometers must be useless I think so we're gonna have to look at the little killer Sudoku clues 39 how many cells is that five cells to add up to 39 so these five cells average very close to eight now that's quite restricted then isn't it so and one of them is a bulb on a thermometer so well let's think about what the theory the, uh, the theoretical maximum interestingly you can't put eight and nine into those two squares because if you do this being on the bulb of thermometer would say that had to be a nine as well. So the maximum value for those two squares is nine and seven. So nine and seven, and then another nine, that's 25, plus another 17 is 42. So there are three degrees of freedom along this diagonal. So is that anything? Well, let's let's think about what the minimum value of this square can be. Can this be a three? This is three. We get nine, nine, and then eight, nine again. So 18, 35, 38. No, this does have to be larger than three, but it could be four. So that has to be four or higher. This has to be five or higher. wondering maybe I can conclude there must be a 9 along this diagonal so what about if there's no 9 in those two squares we'd have 8 7 9 is 24 24 and yes yeah, so there definitely has to be a 9 in one of those two cells oops now this square could this be lower could this be 8 12 21 Ah, oh, but this of course could be, yeah, yeah, this, this doesn't have to be nine because this can just be higher and that would give us latitude for this square. So although there has to be a nine here, there doesn't have to be a nine here. This one has too many degrees of freedom. Right, I think I'm running out of, I'm running out of ideas on this diagonal. Let's try another one. So we've got a 24, this, this is going to be useless, isn't it? Six cells to make 24, averaging four, don't understand what to do there. We've got... 
28 there. That's seven cell, also averaging four. So that the 24 and the 28 both average four. 21, no, that's well, it's averaging close to four. 69. Let's look at the big long one. Maybe that's where we're meant to focus our attention. So this one we've got nine cells. Okay, so yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? The reason I think this is interesting is I, I've got an average higher than seven here. The seven nines are 63. But I obviously, because each box can't contain, you know, we can't make all three of those digits equal to nine. So the maximum we could make those three digits would be 24 with seven, eight, and nine. And this square is on a thermometer. Yeah, so I, I think this diagonal is where we're going to have to focus our attention. So let's let's make those six squares as big as we can. So there we, we had 48. So I've got to make sure that these squares add up to at least 21. But you can see this can't be a 7, for instance. If that's a 7, that rules 8 and 9 out from those two squares, which would make those two squares maximum of 5 and 6, which is only 18. 5 plus 6 plus 7 is 18, which is not high enough. So this square is restricted. This square now, can that be a 6? That would rule out at a minimum 7, 8. No, that doesn't work either. We can only get to 20 with 5 and 9. So this has to not be 6 either. This 5, 5, 8, 9, 6, 7. Yeah, 5 would work because we could put 8 and 9 here. And that would be 22. That would give us one degree of freedom in those squares. If this is four. Oh, that's, yeah, this square has to be four or five. Five works with eight, nine, or seven, nine. Four, then you have to use eight, nine, because we know the three squares must add to 21. So there is not that much latitude here. These squares either add up to 21 or 22. These two squares have to include a 9, and they are either 7, 9, or 8, 9. These squares have to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. Same is true down here. And, and each of these triumvirates here, these sets of three cells, must include an 8 and a 9, because there is only one degree of freedom in all of these six squares, because the maximum I could make that would be 22. And that would allow 6, 8, 9 in one of these triples. Okay, so is this helpful? Uh, maybe a little bit, look. Well, that's this is suspicious to me, actually. Look at this. So we've, we've got this square as 4 or higher. So the implication here is that this square can never be a 5. Because if it's a 5, this square would have no value. Because we can't make this any lower than 4. So if this is a 5, we'd have a 4 and a 5 on this thermometer. That square wouldn't have a value. So that square has to be 6 or higher. Now, this is so suspicious. Why does this square have to be 6 or higher? This is affecting the 24 24 diagonal. So making this a 6 might be important here. Why? So these five squares have got to add up to 18 or or less. But that's not that restricted. That ah this 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 is really bugging me. I wish I could understand what it's telling me, but this, what is the point? That's what I'm asking myself is as a setter, why have I included this tiny little thermometer that has forced a six into this square? It must be influencing the 24 somehow in a way I can't quite 
Do we have to combine the clues somehow? Maybe. So those have got to add up to 63. It's just, I just don't think that's right. I don't understand how to. Okay, so other clues. Let's look at the 21 again. So we've got 21 averaging close to four. Now this square now is higher than it was. This one is this one is seeing the four five, but this this one had an average of four along its length, didn't it? So do I have to combine the clues here somehow? No, that one, this one maybe. Let's have a look at that. So that does take in a lot of box eight. But it doesn't take in the neither of these or n none of these hit the bulbs. So I'm struggling to see how to use this, to be honest. I mean, it's if I could. If it took the bulbs in as well, we could use the 45 rule. So we know that obviously box 8 will contain the digits 1 to 9 and would add to 45. But we we don't have that luxury here. Why is this thermometer here? I don't know. This is bizarre. It's like this one, except this one really isn't affecting anything. But this one seems so specific that this has to be a 4, 5, which eliminates the possibility of this square being a 5. Ah, um, okay, where else go? Which, which, something hit that thermometer down there. It was this one. I mean, all that's telling us is that this square can't be an eight, but I had no intention of putting an eight into this square anyway. That doesn't help me. Ah. Somebody asked if I could do a guitar intro of REM music and I'm thinking Everybody Hurts might be good at the moment because that's about how I feel about this puzzle. Ow, 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 ow. What is it I'm meant to be spotting here? Uh... Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine there has to have... Is there something else I'm meant to appreciate about this clue? So... The problem is this... I just don't... I. I don't see how to use this at all. I'm going to look at this this one again. I'm going to look at these. This is the most promising pattern we've had. This square has to be... Yeah. No. No. Ah. Um... I'm just going to say bobbins now. At least it fills some time. It, it provides some commentary while my brain doesn't work. Um, what is it that I'm meant to be spotting here? So we've got... What do these add up to? We've got 28, 49, 73. 73. So maybe if I put in... So 73... We're looking, it's more likely to be a low restriction, this, isn't it? 73, 45, 28. So I've got to make... If I could somehow limit the... 
So let's ignore the squares that are outside the, the 45 square. And actually, I'm going to have to highlight this, otherwise I'm going to get lost again. Let me just re-look at these numbers again. One second. So let's color them all in. And again, apologies if people are looking at the video getting cross with me for not spotting this. But um, that is unfortunately what sometimes happens with live solving is that uh, we get stuck. <laughs> um, so... I've got one, two, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See the bulbs? Oh, now hang on a minute. That's interesting suddenly. I've just had a thought. Right, let's, in, instead of looking at these digits outside of this area, let's look at these digits. Yes, I've got I've got something. I've suddenly I've suddenly spotted something I should have spotted a long time ago. But this square and this square are on the thermometers. So yeah, if I know that these squares add up to 45 and I do because they contain all of the digits 1 to 9, what is the minimum value that these squares add up to? Well, because I know I must increase by at least one as I move along a thermometer, these squares must add up to at least 47, because whatever I put in here and here has to be increased by at least one to get to those two squares. So these add up to 47 or more for certain. And I need, then what was it, 73? So these squares must add up to 26 or less. Now, it, now that is a little bit interesting, look, because those four squares are all in the same box. So the minimum I could make these squares would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 in some order, which adds up to 10. The minimum I can make that one is 1. The minimum I can make this one is 6. So on this side we get... 17. What did I need? I've forgotten again. I needed 47 to 7, 26. 26. I've got 17. Ah, no, yes, yes, yes. That's it. This can't. This is why this is here. This is why this is a 6. Because look, the minimum I could make these two squares is a 1 and a 2. That adds up to 3. But now, because this square must be 6, the minimum I can make those three squares together is 9. And that's that's exactly the number I need. So basically, I can the minimum I can create on the left-hand side is 17. The minimum I can create on the right-hand side is 9. 17 and 9 is 26. And I know that the absolute minimum I can make all those squares is 47. And if I add 47 to 26, I get 73, which is the exact total for these three arrows. That is absolutely beautiful, but monstrously hard. Um, so let me think about this now. So now I know this has to be a 1. It has to be the minimum value. These squares have to be a 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple. This square has to be a 6, which means this these two squares are the 8-9 pair. This square has to be a 6. These have to be a 1-2 pair. Now, I don't actually know... I don't... I, you know, I can't assume the value of this. Because if, if it's 4, that would be a 3 there. If it's 5, that would be a 4 there. All I know is that these 9 squares add up do add up to 47. So, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how to use that. Now, 
if I've used up my degree of freedom along this diagonal, this, these three now can't be 6, 8, 9. They must be 7, 8, 9. Ah, yeah, okay. And also, that means this has to be a 5, doesn't it? Because that means I need this to add to 22. Because I'm only going to have 24 and 23 from the other 6 cells. So 24 and 23, obviously that's 47. These have to add to 22. There's only one way I can get them at as high as 22, and that's if that's a 5. So these have to be 8 and 9. And this 5 has to be 1 greater than whatever I put in this square, because we know that this these add up to exactly 47, so this has to be a 4. This can't be a 1. And, yeah, and now this has to be a 4, presumably. Because the minimum value of this was 4, and it now can't be a 5. So this is a 4. Good grief, this is a, it's the most intricate thing you've ever seen in your life. I can understand why Jesper is proud of this. This is a very, you know, how long have little killer Sudoku's been around? And I've never seen a, a geometric trick like this. And the interaction with the thermometers, it's just a beautiful, beautiful break-in. Um, oh, look. this These two squares have to be higher than 5, but they can't be 8 and 9. So they've got to be 6 and 7, and we actually know the order. That places a 6 here by Sudoku. So, ah, now look, we've got a 4 here. So these two squares can't be 4. They can't be 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So there's a 1, 2, 3 triple in this row. So the other squares have got to be 7, 8, and 9. Okay, now, what next? Seven, six, one of those two squares must be a four. I don't think that's helpful. got nine here so these three squares have got to add up to 15 uh, I don't think that's restricted or it, it might be but it's not in a way that I'm understanding um, so am I stuck again don't be stuck it's been such a good break in and now I don't want to get stuck. Uh, let's look at the 39 clue then. So, oh yeah, the 39 clue is going to be forced, is it, by the 4 here? Because this has taken all the latitude. Yes, this has taken all the latitude from the 39 clue. So now I need these four squares to add up to 35, which means they have to include three nines and an 8. And you can see the only way of doing that is going to be with a 9 here, a 9 here, and this being an 8-9 pair. So this, ah, this 9 sees the central box, look. So that's a 9, that's an 8, that's an 8, that's a 9. There's an 8-9 pair up here, or in two of these three squares. This one can't be a 9 because it's obviously on the bulb of the thermometer. That can't be a 9 anymore. That can't be a 9 anymore. 7, 8 pair in column 9. This 9 sees the 9 and the 8 down here. This can't be an 8 anymore. Where does... Ah, oh no. 9 can still go in either of those squares. Oh, yeah, look. We have an 8, 9 pair. Well, we have an 8 and a 9 in row 9. So this thermometer, I can't put anything too large in the bulb end anymore. 
because 8 and 9 are ruled out from this end. In fact, 7 is ruled out from this end as well. So the highest this square can be is 6. 5, 4, 3. So this has to be 3 or less. Uh, mm. Well, 6 is placeable now in the middle in this box. Look, this 6 and this 6. We can't put 6 on the bulb, so... So, ah, ah, well now there is a six along this thermometer because of these sixes. And I can't, I can't put six anywhere other than at the end. So six goes at the end. So there's a six in one of those two squares. Oh, and what did these have to add up to? These had to add up to... Was it 15 in this box? So these two have to add up to 9. Whoa, 4, 5. Yes, 2, 7. Oh, I thought I'd broken it then. But 2, 7 is still available. And the 7 must go there. Oh, dear. Whoopsie. Um, that's got to be a 7. That's got to be a 2. So this isn't 2 anymore. So I need 1, 3, and 5. Ah, that's got to be 5 by Sudoku. This has got to be 1 or a 3. Ah, ah, yes, look, this square has to be exactly one less than this square for our 47 trick to work. So this square has to be a 2 or a 4, and it can't be a 2. So that's a 4, that's a 3, that's a 5. This is a 1. This is not 3 anymore. This is, a, this is just a brilliant, brilliant puzzle, isn't it? 3, 8, 9, that's not 9. Um, so I've used the 24 clue I've used the 39 clue let's have a look what, there must be a 4 over here by Sudoku 21 clue so 21 I've now got 16 these have to add up to 5 is that that looks possible uh, this one 28 clue so the 28 clue is 6, 11 uh, 23 these have to ah, these have to add up to 5 as well which is I suppose obvious because I, I thought about it those have to add up to 10 um, right okay uh, da, 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 da. 5 must be in one of those squares by Sudoku so 5 must be in one of these squares One, two, three, four. No, I'm a bit stuck again. One, maybe. Oh, one and eight are nice on box nine, look. They've forced into those two squares, and we know there's a seven, eight pair in column nine. So actually, we get that. Eight, one, one, two. One must live up here. One is not here anymore. And we know there's a 1 in one of those squares because there are 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruples. So the 1 now lives in one of those cells, which means this square must be a 1 in box 7 here. That square now has got to be a 7 to come by Sudoku. So this now is a 7, 9 pair, I think. Yes, it is, which means this is not 8 which means this is 8, this is 7, now we're going again, 8 and 9 get resolved by the 8 in box 9, uh, this is not 8 anymore, ah, now that's interesting as well, this 9 is limiting the value of this square, this can't be 8 now because we'd have to put the 9 there along the thermometer, so this becomes a 3 which gives us the 9 and the 8, 9 is in one of these two squares, 8 is in one of those two squares, I think. This can't be a 2, perhaps I need to... I'm wondering now whether I should be focusing again on these. This has to add up to 5, doesn't it? This has to add up to 5. So 4... 
So if this can't be a 2, this can't be a 3. So this can't be a 4 because this can't be a 1. Um, ah, it feels like that's quite close to cracking, but I can't quite see how to resolve it. There must be an 8 here by Sudoku now. This square's got to be a 5 by Sudoku. That places a 5 here. So these two squares are 3 and 7, which we can also resolve. Place a 7 down here. Those two squares are 2 and 3, which we can do. This is a 2-6 pair. That's a 4-5 pair, I think. So these two squares have got to be a 1-3 pair. And the 3 here is useful. Nice. 3-1. Three, 3 lives in one of these two squares. 1. Ah, we still can't quite get the 1 done. And slowly I am whittling away at this puzzle. Um, now, 2 and 3 into these two squares. These two squares have got to be 4 and 5. No, still not cracking it. 1, 2, 3, triple though now. Look at that in um, column 2. So I need 4, 6 and 8 into those squares. This can't be 3 anymore, therefore. This must be 8 because the 8 can't be here if I need a 4, 6, 8 triple here. So these are 4 and 6. 6 is locked into row 1 and row 3 in two different boxes, look. So where are we going to put the 6 in row 2 of the grid? Can't go in either of these two squares, can't go there. In fact, it can't go there, so it must go here. This is not 8 anymore, so this has to be higher than 3. Uh... So it's got to be 4, 5, or 7. Is, are any of those ruled out? I'm not sure. 4, 5, or 7. Oh, the 3 here sees that one. Oh, that's huge. That's going to break the puzzle, I think, in terms of break it open. So this, this now is a 2, 3 pair. One, 4 pair. That fixes the 4 here. This has to be a 2 or a 3. Can't be a 3 because of the 3 there. Yes, 2, 1, 3. 3, 2. 2, 3. 5, 4. Now this can't be a 5 anymore, therefore. Oops, can't be a 5, I should say. And it can't be a 4. So that becomes a 7. This fixes a 7 and a 9. The 9 gets placed at the top. This square here has got to be a 2. That fixes the 2 and the 6, which is going to bounce back over here into a 6 and a 4. Give me a 5 here. 5 and a 4. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to be able to solve it. Um, it would be... I hope I haven't made a mistake. 1, 5 and 4, 7 into those squares. That looks okay. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that... That video, it felt to me like it was the vast majority of it was staring at a basically blank grid at the start because spotting this trick with the 47 down here was not at all straightforward. But I absolutely love that. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought, how you got on with the puzzle. And uh, yeah, we'll be back later on with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.